So looking at our model there again, and looking at Apache HVAC, I have created a model from scratch using the components along the top of the screen. Another option that you have is to use the Apache HVAC wizard. This has been in there for quite some time now, a number of years, and people will be familiar with this, where we can go in and we can select from a number of very basic systems. And we can select any system from here, so I'll choose a fan coil unit in this case, click next, and I can click finish. And what that has done is brought in my fan coil unit, which I can now go and edit. And that's the great flexibility of this tool, is that no matter what system we have, and we have a whole system library, which I'll show you a little later, that we can go in and have a look at, and we can then edit each of the different elements. So initially, you can see you've got your inlet and outlet. We have our supply fan. We have a heating and cooling coil there on the common outside air system. And we have a zone here, which is surrounded by this fan coil unit. So the system is made up of components, as we've looked at. We have our heating and cooling coils, both on the fan coil unit and the primary outside air system. And if we want, at the moment, all that we're able to see is that we have one zone and one fan coil unit. Now, in the past, we may have had to draw in many of these fan coil units. We would have had to just add them in, and in terms of editing, it would have been pretty tricky because we would have had to edit each of these controllers individually. Now what we can do is we can do what's called multiplexing. And all I do to create a multiplex is go up to the Create a Multiplex button. I click OK on that dialog. And I go to the bottom left-hand corner of the section of the network I want to multiplex. And I drag it up until I'm surrounding the uh, section of the network that I want to multiplex. And I have created this multiplex. And you can see here that we have this dialog box which appears. And I can add in layers to this multiplex, which can contain further fan coil units assigned to different rooms in the model. So as I click on the Add Layer button, I can add in layers. And I can choose from the principal room drop down a number of different uh, room types. Now, the way I'm doing it here manually, adding in layers and choosing my room from that principal room type is fine for small models. But what we can also do is we can assign from a room group as well. And we can look at that in a little more detail later on. So that's just showing you the example of one way to put in your rooms. And so I now have my multiplex with my five rooms assigned. And I can just click OK on that. So as I click inside this green box, you'll see there's the green box surrounding my now multiplexed fan coil unit, which represents five layers now, as that's what I've included. As I click on this Edit Multiplex button, I'm able to see all five of my layers representing five rooms and five fan coil units. And if I click Global Editing, I'm able to select all so that I'm able to edit all the rooms at once. I just click OK. So now I can go in and very quickly edit this multiplex using what's called the tabular edit function. So the way we use this is I can, can click on any of my controllers and it will bring up those controllers. And you can see on the left hand side there my controller is highlighted in my component browser there. And as I click on flow rate at maximum signal, I can see that I've got my flow rate shown to me here for all of my different layers and I can edit any of these different layers individually. What I can also do using this tabular edit function is I can go in here and what I can do is I can copy and paste figures in here from Excel. And so when I open up Excel, I can see here that I have some results that I've already uh, gone and created using my SIBC steady state loads calculation using my Apache Calc module. And so I've got my SIBC room loads in place. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my outside airflow from this sheet and I'm going to paste it in for my appropriate rooms. So I'm going to copy it from my Excel spreadsheet and I'm just going to paste it in to the appropriate section of my outside air supply flow rate here. I just click on the initial tab and click paste and it's brought in all my flow rates automatically for me so that I can easily go in and edit any of my controllers. If I want to edit multiple variables at one time, all I need to do is hold down the Shift key as I select them. And I'm able to select multiple items at once. And I just click Multiple Edit. And it brings up all of those items at once. And I can go into my spreadsheets and, and 
paste them all in at once and very quickly edit my networks. So it's a very good tool for editing all of your layers in one go.